What is up everybody, right before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you to turn your push bell notifications on, that way you'll never miss a video and you'll also get the notifications for giveaways. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy this video. What is up everybody and welcome to the first part, building a homemade claw machine series. Hopefully it'll be pretty cool and if it works out we might even be selling these machines later in the future. So let's just jump right into designing the machine on the computer, send it off to Home Depot and they're going to cut out the wood and then we're going to go pick it up. Here we go. So first we start on a program called Google Sketch. Up. It's pretty cool because you can start off with one measurement and then build everything around it, then check what those measurements are. I ended up with this cabinet, of course, before any trim work, the marquee, doors and holes for the joystick and play clock. We are going to add those later when we have the parts in hand. Next, we went to Home Depot and got our plywood. We chose this very smooth 3 4 inch select plywood. We are going to be sanding it anyway, but the smoother the better for all the graphics to stick. After we loaded up the wood, we needed some hardware, so we got inch and three quarter screws. Then we got these L brackets to help pull everything together even tighter from the inside of the machine. Next, we got all the pieces cut. I wrote down all the measurements and one of the employees helped us get everything to size. Once all the pieces were cut, we took them all back to the shop and sanded down all the edges. For the side windows, we drilled the hole big enough for the jigsaw blade to go through, then used the jigsaw to cut out the windows on both sides. The next step was to roughly assemble the cabinet. We are going to take it apart, but this way all the holes will be pre-drilled, plus we will know how everything fits together before we prime paint and apply the graphics. To assemble everything, we drilled holes into the edge of all the pieces, then screwed them all together. Flipped the machine and then did the bottom. Flipped it again and added the front. Once it was flipped, we took some of the L brackets that we bought and we attached them to the bottom of the play area. That way the play area for now just sits on top of the L brackets and then once we get the graphics on, we can screw it down. We decided to make the front only as tall as it needed to be. This way we didn't have to cut out another window and we can just make a frame for the glass and we'll also have room for the hinges. Once doing it all correctly, we got this. Since the basic cabinet structure was already done, we just needed to cut out all the holes. One for the price chute, the motherboard, and then the joystick box hole for all the wires to come through from the inside. We removed the front piece from the machine, then we cut out a rectangle for the motherboard. For the motherboard, I wanted something that could easily slide out to adjust all the settings for the machine. I built a structure behind the rectangle that we cut out, and then used more L brackets to hold it in from the back. Basically, I was building a box without a back piece, so it was basically walls inside of that rectangle we cut out. Once that was done, I could start to see how it would look, so I made a temporary rail for the piece of plywood that would hold the motherboard to slide back and forth on. This won't really be a permanent solution, but for now it works. Once that was done, I screwed in some standoffs to the piece of plywood. This way the circuits on the back of the board don't touch anything. Might be a little bit overkill, but I don't want anything to go wrong with the motherboard. Then I screwed the board onto those standoffs. Next, we had to make the gantry for the wheels of the machine to move back and forth on. For this, we cut out two long strips of plywood that would go from end to end of the machine. For the track, we got two hollow aluminum rods from Home Depot. Then we measured out a space for each wheel and drilled the holes into that piece of plywood. We added carriage bolts that were the same size as the inside of the rod to hold it into place on the front and back. Then we screwed that into the top of the machine. Then I inserted the actual claw machine gantry on top of that track and then made sure that it would run smoothly back and forth. And voila, it's all starting to come together. For the joystick box, we just made a square box out of plywood, screwed it together, and then added an aluminum sheet on top of it, and then made a hole for the joystick and drop button. Then we screwed that box into the body of the machine with hinges. This way it's easily accessible and I can install all the wires, and if a wire breaks off, or you have to adjust something, it's easy to get to it. Next, we have to plug everything into the board. The directions are not too good, so you have to have some knowledge on how claw machines work if you're building one of these yourselves. It took me a while, but I figured it all out. The joystick plugs in here, then each colored wire at the end of the joystick connection means a different movement. For example, red means backwards, yellow means forward, and then the green one means drop the claw, etc. You attach each wire to the opposite direction underneath the joystick, then the ground wire connects with those. So for example, if you want to move the claw left, you attach the left wire to the right switch. We got all that done, so I moved on to the coin acceptor wire. We don't have one yet, so I stripped the wires that would attach to a coin acceptor. Touching them together makes the machine think a quarter fell in, so here we go. Alrighty guys, so the basic structure and the internals of the machine are now 100% functional. I just put some plays on it right here, right now, like I said in the video, we have just the wires that put the plays on. Actually, I'll turn the volume down so you can hear everything. So um, the machine works perfectly. You can pick everything up. So this is the joystick, of course. Move it uh, right, machine moves right, left, forward, back. 
of his truck. Right now it does drop stuff. Uh, it's at a decent strength though, you can still win, but now I'll probably drop it. Yep, cool. So yeah, everything seems to work perfectly. Kit was very well made, I like all the parts. It's actually really customizable. Try to win some more stuff, I'll show you. Okay, we got it. Yeah! You can actually control, you can control how long it takes for the claw to drop the prize. So if you made like a bigger cabinet, you could actually program it to drop the prize that far before the shoot. So it could drop it right here. Say the machine was double this long, so it was moving it. Oh yeah, I got it guaranteed. It will drop it right there. So it's actually really cool. I'm glad you can do that. It's very, I can't believe how customizable it is for only um, a $400 kit, so a pretty good deal. Drop the truck again. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this truck, man. It's guaranteed. It's actually a really entertaining machine for, you know, made out of plywood, I guess. You could technically leave it right here, like how it is, if you just wanted to, just a machine, you know, to play. But we're gonna end up um, putting, you know, the front glass on, the side glass, the um, actual, I'm using paper towels to hold up the joystick box, because it's not screwed in yet, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna make doors, we're gonna wrap it all up, we're gonna paint it, put lights in it, lights on the top, lights on the side, LEDs all around it. It's gonna look really nice, there's gonna be trim work done to it, so this machine is gonna look very cool. I'm gonna have an actual place for the speaker. Gonna win, I'm gonna win a couple more prizes. Actually, I think I have, you know what? I'm gonna win an orange. I'm gonna win a halo. Uh, you can actually set the payout rate as well. You can control the speed of the claw, like how fast it'll move. Uh, if you can make it really slow, I'm actually gonna, I'll try to do that. Yep, got it. Uh, all right, we'll get it, we'll get it. So we'll get the halo. It's guaranteed. Right there. Yep. Yes, we got the halo, cool. So um, it's actually really cool how you can program this. I'll set it back up on the tripod so you guys can see. So if you go into the settings. All right, so S4. Go. So you can hear all the settings it has. How many scores needed to grab ones? So that's payout. Playtime. How long the play clock is. How long the game machine starts automatic. Eh, speaker fell out. With grip control, control number based. The delay time of grip control mode one. So the delay time, so we'll, we'll change it, we'll go to um, two seconds. So it's one second after the claw hits the top, let's go to three seconds and see what happens. And then uh, save our settings. There we go, put some prizes in. All right, let's see what happens when we try for this truck. Okay. And it should let go, yep, right there, right before the shoot. So you can program it to let go wherever you want. I find that really, really cool. Uh, it's a little bit too far back. Right there. Right there. Come on. Ah, that a lot. All right, we can get it. Yep. You? Yeah, well, it would have bounced in the shoot if there was glass in it. We'll win one more prize. Win this monkey. Right there. Should have it. Stay in there, bud. Ah, it fell. Oh, right. Oh, well. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below if you are uh, maybe one day interested in buying one of these machines. We're going to try, see how it turns out. If it looks really well, it turns out really well. And we have faith in, you know, selling them and, and help and have them working very well. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. If you really enjoyed, subscribe. Claw Craziness merchandise is available in the description below if you want to buy yourself a shirt. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.